Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Tonight, we know more in the investigation of the Mount Healthy man charged with his four-month-old daughter's death. You remember the father had initially made up a story that his baby had been abducted. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill has new information from the coroner tonight and joins us live from the Claremont County Jail. Julie. Carol, 24-year-old Charles Crawford is locked up behind me on a $2 million bond charged with aggravated murder. Meantime, today has been a waiting game for answers from the coroner as to how his daughter died. 24-year-old Charles Crawford appeared in Claremont County Court showing no emotion as prosecutor Dottie Smith described his case as horrific. The defendant has not only been alleged, but has admitted to his involvement with the death of his four-month-old child. We now know Crawford physically led investigators to the body of his daughter, four-month-old Kaylin Crawford in Miami Township. Hamilton County Coroner Lakshmi Samarka, whose office is conducting the autopsy, tells Nine on Your Side the infant was still in her car seat in the water when she was found. Now the question is, was Crawford's daughter already dead when he admits he dropped her into the Little Miami River or still alive? I know there's all sorts of theories on whether it's drowning or something before, so that's definitely going to be our, our objective is to see if the child was still alive and, or if the child drowned. Dr. Samarco says her office will have to do further testing before they can answer for sure when and how Kaylin died. Well, you'll see fluid in the air spaces in the lungs if the child drowned, if actually, if the, if the baby actually took a breath underwater and, and inhaled all that water, you'll see it in the lungs. And so the preliminary autopsy result is pending. They say it could be days, it could be a week, maybe even more before all of the test results are in. Meantime, Mr. Crawford faces the possibility of the death penalty if convicted in this case. We'll stay on top of every development. I'm Julie O'Neill, live in Claremont County, not on your side. All right.